Okay. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh, sorry. Oh, you can go. You can go ahead and collect anything. Looks like. All right. Uh, welcome back, everybody. After that wonderful race of Ristar, Rystar, Restar, we have one of the runner runners here, Garby, and she will be doing Socket for the Genesis, the any percent category. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything ready to start? Uh, just count down and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, hello. I'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. So, so this game, similarly to, uh, okay, well, actually, there's issues, I think. Oh, they will handle that in a second. Uh, uh, sorry, I just, I, I just had to restart. <laughs> Oh, it sounded fine on my end. It's possible it might be on their end, because I, okay. I have your I have your stream. Oh, up okay. Up well, on the uh, on the server. So, well, okay. I'll just let's let me look at what it says. I'm just gonna look at what it says on my end. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can I can hear the show on my end. So, so I don't know what it is, but yeah, I guess I'll just go on ahead then. So, okay. Yes. So they fix it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I'll start in five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. So, okay, yeah, thanks. So this this is socket. Like like a lot of Genesis games, this is a this is a just a typical Sonic clone. And there are some pretty interesting mechanics. Like first start off with these high speed sections, which yeah, totally Sonic. But but a, most of the time these are pretty trivial, just because there's so much. Invincibility, but you can generally get through all of it without usually having an issue. It they're pretty easy to beat, like casually. But if you're trying to go fast, there's there's kind of some seeds tech. Like for example, you you want to finish the stage with not all of your energy left because the countdown will t take a lot longer if you have all your energy left, like about a second or so. So and also you don't want to be going max speed because. Sokka will have to turn turn back to get to the goal, and that'll waste some time. So, yeah, it, there's no way to skip the energy bonus countdown. So the way the 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 general layout is that there's in each act there's a high speed section, and then two more two more actiony stages that are more focused on actually like moving through platforms and stuff. And this could be going better. I don't actually remember like every where to go. And I guess the physics in this game, like I don't feel like they lend themselves too well to actually going to actually having these loop de loops. Like you see, they're actually pretty slow. Like they try to emulate Sonic, but generally the physics don't really work as well. So this is a pretty good game, but there's definitely some some flaws to it. So, are you a person who runs a lot of Genesis games? Because you were, you know, in the Ristar race. And yeah. This was a Genesis game. Yeah, I I've been running more more Genesis games lately after after getting a Mega Everdrive. Okay. But, but, and watching watching Liz play a lot of Genesis games kind of got me back into it all, as well. <laughs> Liz inspires us all, it seems. Yeah. So okay, that's. Normally, you're, that's a quick the quickest way to get to stage. There's there are a lot of different. That's kind of more of a nice like level. There are a lot of different ways to get through that, but that's by far the quickest way. And these bosses, you just generally need to at attack them. There's really not much really to them. One thing you'll notice though is that you do lose health as time pro progresses, at, like just from being being on this, just from running. You you lose health even if you don't actually take take any get hit any, so that's kind of something you have to keep in mind. But there's enough, like, lightning lightning things that that's generally not too much of an issue as long as you don't get hit too much. So that's the first level down. How hard of a speed game would you say this is? Uh... Used to it wasn't that hard, but recently I I watched a task and I discovered a lot of a lot of new new strats that are actually pretty challenging to pull off. And huh. there's one in two dash three that 
I'm still not really consistent with, but I may I may go for a lot of strats just because we're ahead of schedule and I don't mind. Like mm-hmm. it'll, be, I guess so. Like I may as well just go for them. My estimate's pretty lenient. <laughs> So there, here, you're, this isn't really intended for you to do, but, like, you're normally intended to go back down there, but that's a little little bit slow, so you can just do that and beat it quickly. It's pretty hard to avoid getting the full energy bonus there. Like, if you beat it with all, your, all of it left, you get 10,000, 10, but, and that generally takes a little while to count down, so. Like, if you just have, like, you get kind of a bonus if you have all of it left, so you generally don't want to have all of it left, because that'll make the count down a little bit longer. Oh, that, okay, that works. Oh, great, I popped up for then. Made an annoying sound come up. So this level, the platform here can be kind of annoying. Okay, that actually went decently well. And you said the physics weren't quite smooth, or at least for the fast parts? Well, yeah, like, you don't gain momentum in the same way that you do in, in Sonic, but the levels are designed as they are, as if they're Sonic levels, basically, so oh, so that kind of makes some stuff a little bit more annoying than it should be. It becomes especially prevalent, I'd say, in World 4, so, yeah. But there are a lot of instances like that. So this is, okay, that was actually a pretty decent level. Like, there's a thing here, yeah. Like, that, like, went well, all things considered. So we're going to come up to a pretty tough, tough strat in a little bit. Like... I didn't even go for it in my PB, and I and I don't even know the Q too well. So, hopefully, it goes well. <laughs> but there's a straight you can do if you do it correctly, where you can just zip through the thing. And I'm gonna try it just because I don't know. This is for fun. <laughs> See how this will go. Okay, if I do this correctly, I can get zip down. No. Okay. I'm just guess guessing, honestly. Uh, just, like, mashing them down. Oh, yeah, that's what needs to happen. So, there, you're normally intended to go another way, but if you do that, you can just, like, do like that. I don't know if that actually ended up saving time just because it took so long, but still. I guess I'll... Oh, you first. Oh, okay. Well, I, I just want to shout out Sonic Star. He he recently he I saw just ran across a task of this game that, that they did and and it kind of taught me a lot of new new strats. So shout outs. Okay. <laughs> and Aludra in chat asks, uh, how did you discover this game? Uh, it's a game from my childhood, basically. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just owned a lot of random games as a kid, and that's generally where I get a lot of my selection of games from. <laughs> And I guess since I took so long on the on the getting the trick right, I lost some health, so I won't have as long of a countdown here. So that's cool. <laughs> what exactly is the plot for this game? Uh, that there's probably a plot in the manual, but oh, okay. basically, it's called Socket Time Dominator. So it's about I guess it's just about socket traveling through through time and and defeating the bosses and I know I think he goes into a machine at the end I know that much <laughs> I don't know really the other details but yeah yeah I saw a Dominator uh, hot air balloon in one of the backgrounds I'm like huh what is the reasoning for this <laughs> oh no what ha okay did something happen Okay, so I'm trying to avoid taking that invincibility there just because I don't want to like, because I want to avoid the time bonus here. 
What's this? Okay. So okay, this is three three dash. I thought he keeps coming cutting off. I don't know why that keeps happening. So there's a strat here. There's a pretty awesome rat. It's kind of hard to block, but I just discovered this rat recently. <sighs> yeah, that can happen. I don't know why the audio keeps cutting off my end. So are there more runners for this game? Or well, the community at all? Oh, there's there's sets. They they did a run a, a long time ago. They they actually have a world record of twenty nine fifty five, but they haven't really done they haven't really ran this in a while, so I'm the only active runner of this. Mm. So and that's where I got a lot of like my speed tech and, I, and ideas from. Mm -hmm. But the community, like, other than me and Sets, I don't really know of any other people who have ran this, unfortunately. Okay. I'm gonna go through that. But yeah, a lot of these levels are, are really maze-like, so it's just about knowing the correct way to go. Ugh. Whoa, I didn't want to go there. I'm going to go this way. And there's a pretty tight jump I can do to skip. Ah, oh, I missed it. If I do it correctly, I can just jump through this and not even have to take this mine cart. But it's a, kind of tight to do. So, and yeah, the game can be pretty laggy sometimes when there's a lot of stuff on the screen. So, one thing you'll notice when I take damage is that the boss flashes, but it doesn't actually deal damage, I don't think, when you run into it. So, it can be kind of confusing as to how many hits you've actually done. That boss won't be so well, so. Okay, so we're coming up to the fourth high, high speed area. These, yeah, generally those boost pads, yeah, just a lot like Sonic. It can be really punishing if you actually miss a boost pad or whatever, because all the boost pads are on a on a global time, like a, a timer as you get there. Like as you get there is when they start their their cycle. So if you if you like go slow in a section, it can be really punishing, and it can lead to farther mistakes. So I'm going to try to avoid that just to make sure I don't have max health. And yeah, you get to continue every 30,000 points. So I get, when you're playing casually, that's generally the point to having to getting points. But yeah, these levels, at first they were a lot of trouble for me because in, in, if you don't take the right route, you can have to do like some light mini-games and they can be really annoying to do. Like if you don't take the right path in them, like it can really be punishing. And here you'll see an instance of like how, how the loop looks in this game are just annoying. 
like what you want to do here is just jump like you don't want to trust those loopy loops because if you because with the way the physics are it's just almost impossible to get enough momentum to actually get through it hmm And they're like, they're on a, the, the timer as you get there, so if, if you just do the same thing every time, you'll just get down to the properly through that. And down twist can be pretty relevant in this game, just in general. There's a trick coming up later that really relies on down twisting, and it can skip a large part of the level. I imagine the task does quite a bit with manipulating the global timer or making sure you get the right cycles and everything. Sometimes, well, actually a lot of the time it's actually impossible to make cycles that you may think you can make, so I don't know if there's actually too much with that. Oh. Like, with, with the momentum, like, it's just kind of hard to, like, make cycles you wouldn't expect to be able to make or something like that. I see. Hmm. So here you want to make sure to take the right doors. Like those doors are one unidirectional. So if you if you accidentally go inside a door, you can't go back out. So uh. I think I go here. Yeah, I think that's where to go. So. I, like, I still don't really remember the route too well, but still not going that bad, all things considered. You may uh, have mentioned earlier, but how long have you been running this game? Well, let's see. I think I started running it, I think, about a year and a half ago, but after, like, I just took a really long break after, after like, November 2016. I just now picked it up about, again about a week ago. Oh, I see. Okay, so actually, the, what, this boss works on like a cycle base, but huh. it's generally pretty easy to get three hits a cycle, and there's no way to get four cycles. So generally, it's there's not too much issue here. Like, not even the task gets four four, four hits here, so there's really no real way to to get less cycles. You have to do ten hits to the boss. Uh, I also like the, the design here. If you're inside a dinosaur's mouth, yeah. See if we'll get the annoying buzzing. Enjoy! Yeah, this game easily has one of the most annoying buzzing sounds ever. So, yeah. And it gets even worse if you're close to, if you're even closer to dying. Like, the buzzing just gets faster, so you can imagine how, how that would be. <laughs> so I guess, I mentioned that there was a time trial option, and the time trial option is basically doing this, except they're doing these high-speed areas, except there's no, no enemies, and, and... I don't know, I guess no one's actually ran, like, time trial. And here you can see how this game can be annoying, like, if something just doesn't go right, then, like, something like that can happen and it's just really annoying. So I guess just, I just want to get that invincibility. <sighs> this game can be annoying. <laughs> okay, so that's... Uh, okay, that would have been faster, but... That happened. So yeah, that's that's actually the most haunted route that I messed up a little bit. So it's a little time there. So there's a there's a pretty hard strat here. So it involves quite a bit. Like you can get boosted off of enemies, and it'll be used to skip a really a pretty a decently long water section. And if you and just so you know, the underwater section in this game are the worst. Probably one of the most annoying ones ever, honestly. But we'll see how it goes. So it involves a lot of, a lot of damage boosts. 
Oh. And, so, and you mentioned uh, Sonic Star earlier, and Sonic has a question. What made you want to run this game? Uh, oh, I'll say that. Serious mode. <laughs> okay. Come on! Oh, that was annoying. Yeah, if I would have gotten bounced right away, I could have skipped this entire on the water section. Yeah, well, I mean, at least... I guess you, you kind of got the idea of what you're supposed to do, at least. So there's that. I, but, yeah, I just... This is just a game I had a lot of... I really enjoyed as a kid, and... And I just wanted to run it. <laughs> and so, that's... I guess, like, a lot of people say that's how you should get started in running. Yeah, that's how I got started running it. Hmm. But yeah, you can see like the way momentum is and just how slow, how much, how laggy it is and how the controls are just one of the most annoying underwater sections ever. Like you're in molasses or something. Yeah, basically. I mean, at least I got to show off. I mean, I would have gotten to show off how annoying Lightning Rock Centaur anyway, because the next act has them, so, yeah. So, let's catch them on chats. But yeah, this is just another underwater level. So yeah, enjoy the lag. So, just yeah, in general, just like the others, this is just all about knowing the correct route. You mentioned an earlier skip to skip the uh, earlier water level. Are there any more skips like that in this game? Well, kinda. There's there's one re required a tube tube level that you can do precise jumps to. Or it's not much of a skip. It's more just a much quicker way to go through a tube. But it's kind of significant enough that I kind of classify it as, as a skip. I don't know. It's it's not exactly a skip, but yeah. There's also a dentist you can do here to. To go a different route, but it doesn't save near really. It doesn't. I don't think it saves much time at all. So mm -hmm. I don't. So I don't really go for it. <laughs> so I guess you generally want to try to take a lot of damage just to make the candy gun sore. But I guess it is possible that you could take too much and and not perform the boss well and just end up. Losing a life and that'd be really damaging. But generally, the bosses aren't much of an issue, except the final boss can be pretty tricky when you're playing casually. Because it's like the way the game works is that if you die, you start from a section, but you only have half your health left. So it's possible to just die and want, die right before the final boss, and then it becomes really hard to defeat the final boss just because you have so little health. I remember that happening to me one time when I tried to play it, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So World 6, we're getting close to the, we're kind of coming close to the end of the game. This is, so this is the future, the future world. So. And did the developers play Sonic CD before this or something? Yeah. <laughs> So th this one's actually, if you don't take the fret paths, this can be quite a bit slower. 
And so these are probably the most, what I would consider the most maze like levels, the future levels. Like, I remember being really st stuck on it first before I actually looked at what, what to do. So, so the way this works is that there's just a lot of different, like, futuristic things. In the next act, there will be, there will actually, there will be, like, things which reverse your direction, reverse, re flip you over, like, to go in the opposite gravity. Oh, so yeah, you see how annoying Looky Loops are. Okay, that could, that can go worse though. Yeah, this game was not really designed for Looky Loops, honestly. Like they tried to implement characters of Sonic, but it just the physics don't really work with it. <laughs> So, so heading to six past three now, like this is this is another pretty maze like level. Just gotta like know where to go. So you don't wanna you wanna make sure to avoid hitting these first two. But yeah, this is a, a lot of parts getting really non-linear, and there, there's just a lot of stuff at least different places that don't end up really being too helpful, and you, that you'll likely lose more lives even trying to beat than you will otherwise. There's actually a lot of different like sub levels. Like there's a there's one where you have to go in and out of a in and out of like a fence to get through it, and there's another one where you have to run across a tube in a in a fiery section and another where you you have you have a fence that you have you have to go through so so there's like just a lot of different sub levels that don't even end up helping too much they'll teleport to a different area but they generally are never useful in a speed run i think they may give extra lives but they're generally pretty hard to actually know how to to learn so you'll likely lose more lives trying to even beat them than you would than you would just just not even taking them a lot of it just comes down to not to knowing how to not have to take them. Is there a one hundred percent category or any other sub -cat or other categories where you would see that stuff, or is it just an any percent sort of game? Well, for now, there's all there's only any percent. No one's ever tried running anything else. I guess I'm kind of just I don't know how to classify. Like, I guess you can make it like just traveling through every door. I guess that's how you can do it. But no one's ever tried running that. I guess it might be kind of cool today. Just and you did mention time trials too, right? Y yeah, I don't know. I haven't ever actually ran it, but I feel like it's a category that could be done. Okay. So this is honestly probably one of the generally when you're speedrunning, this is one. This is one of the easier ones to do. Like, there's plenty of invincibility, and the route you take isn't. It's pretty easy when you learn what to do. So twenty seven. Hmm. I don't know if it's all. It's gonna be a decent time. It's probably sub thirty five if I don't make any major mistakes. So. So, okay, we're heading to probably some of the tougher tougher levels. This one's kind of, uh, I think it's a bit mazy, but not too much. And here you actually have to run back so you can make sure to get enough momentum for this. There's a lot of places, though, if, 
if you fall, it can be really punishing. Okay, so that jump can be kind of annoying with that. With that spiky thing. Okay, those jumps can be tight, so that went decently. Okay, well, yeah, I'm guessing the checkpoint. So this one, I don't believe it's possible to make that, that, that cycle there. Like, I thought it was probably possible, but I noticed that the that the house doesn't make it, and it, it seems like it'd be really hard to make that just because of how the, the way those move. Okay. Okay, that's pretty much the tough part of that level done, so. So, there's just uh, one more kind of tough section, but this level's mostly finished now. Oh, well, I make this. Okay, yeah. I mean, at least I'm getting the time bonus to be lower now. So, I guess this is like a tough one. Yeah, I guess that's the best way to do that part. So, okay. That was a decent level, so. I don't think this can be. This can, this can sub 33, I think, if this, this level goes really well. Oh. So, that would still be a pretty decent time. I don't, yeah, I don't think the fight can be, but there's some pretty tough stretching to do here. So this is the only time when you're actually re required to go into one of those sub levels I mentioned earlier. You're required to go into one of the tube ones, but it's possible to speed it up if you do some pre precise jumps. Like normally you're expected to to walk back and forth through through a long tube to make it, but if you do it, if you do it properly, you can. You can just jump on the on the edge of platforms, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna jump here, and there's an edge here, and you just wanna like serious mode. Okay, that was silly. Uh, come on. Okay, and that's enough of that. That that went really well, actually. So yeah. that's like how it works. Those jumps can be pretty precise. Yeah, I, I know it did well because that went like that went on for a long time. And here's an annoying loopy loop. Okay, that went be, that went well. Oh, what I did not want that to happen. So I'm gonna try to do. Okay, whatever. Never mind. No damage boosting here. Uh, okay, I should have plenty of health for the boss, I think. It's generally not that much of an issue, but... Hmm. Okay, should probably... Sub-33. Okay, that was a good first one. So, probably, I think there's a way to deal a lot more damage than... I noticed the task team is done a lot more quickly than I did, than I usually get at done, so I don't know. Ah, uh, well, that's not how it's supposed to go. So this is going to be longer than it would be otherwise, but... So here I want to take a, a hit to be aligned properly, and that's good! Okay. Uh, come on! Uh, well now it's going to level problem. That's kind of problematic. Okay, beat it. So, okay, this should sub 33. So time is after... After I enter the ship. And uh, time, forty-two fifty-five. Uh, Very nice. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. That probably if I would have gotten that that skip in five dash two. That probably would have would have PB'd. But that was. That, I'm still pretty pleased with that run. Yeah. Let's see, I think the timer is the timer still going on chat. I'm not sure, but. Oh, very nice run. Thanks. 
So, I don't know if we have time to do, like, the time trial category I mentioned. Uh, if you want. Yeah, if you, if you want to do a showcase, I believe we still have time for that. Okay. So, I mean, I guess, shall I let the credits play out, too, or... That'll be about five extra minutes. Uh, I don't think we need the credits if you just want to get to the showcase. Yeah, basically, sockets. They decide they should enter the machine and, like... Then it's open to interpretation. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is like, I guess I've practiced for this a little bit. This is ki kind of re just repeated content. I'm just kind of doing this to feel a bit. So, I guess I'll start time, start time here. So, the only di different, one main part of speed tech is that, is that getting the fast takeoff there is actually really precise to do. Like, I feel like it's a pretty l small window to get that. Like, like Mario Kart and other racing games, there's there's a fast takeoff you can do if you if you time the time holding right correctly. Hmm. Actually, you never knew this that this music was here. It's been a lot so long since I've the music while doing this. And I guess this is something you can actually time with in-game time. Uh, well that almost went wrong. Uh, <sighs> okay, so. So I don't know the exact timing for this. Okay, so I want to. I want to precise. Uh, so I wanted to hop on that slope. But I wanted to go down on that slope. Like I wanted to jump when I was on the slope. I wanted to land directly on it and jump off it. That would have gotten me an optimal time. I think optimal is thirteen point three seven. That's my best. So yeah, th it's just basically running as I was doing in the run, except I actually, except I actually wanna. Except there's no enemies or anything, so it's kind of a little easier in that way. Okay, that actually worked too. Okay, maybe the timing's a little bit better than I thought. Maybe it's just pressing it too early when I was practicing earlier. So I guess I'd say slightly above 30 seconds is good here. I think my best is like 27 or something on this. Uh, well that was almost good. Okay, those jumps were good though. So this just basically comes down to uh, micro optimizations. I've actually don't even have a re recorded run of this. I just hmm. I did run it like off offline with without recording. So as I guess now I can post this as yeah. post this on speedrun.com now that I have this. <laughs> now you have a recorded run on a marathon, no less. Yep. So I think this is the optimal way. I don't know. You can either take that way or go through the bricks. I don't think there's much of a difference. Okay, well it is slow if that happens though. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, this is tr the true Sonic ripoff form. <laughs> I'm just gonna love the fast takeoff so far. I don't know. Okay, yeah, that worked, I think. Hmm. I don't know, I said they were really they were really tight to actually make, but I guess I was just pressing it too early, too early, early or something. Okay, well that wasn't quite optimal. So I wanna uh so that didn't lose me too much time I guess though. Twenty seven oh uh, twenty eight or so is not too bad. I think the best you can get is like 25 or so there. So 340. So, so with this being, these aren't being a gold farm, there's pretty much no way to be able to actually skip that one. I guess there's in some place would be more skill if they were on or if they were on level timers. <laughs> uh, to move a little faster. Let's still be sub thirty. Okay, now. Nah. 
to the door. So yeah, this will be it. This might survive. I don't know. Nah, I don't think it will. This one's like barely below thirty seconds. You do it perfectly. Yeah, I got all the fast hike offs. So there, there's that. <laughs> Uh, down the way. So this will be a little bit of a I think. Okay, so that's five by five. So yeah, yeah. Thanks. So those are the time trials. Right, thank so. you so much for showing that off. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, so I'll. I guess I'll go ahead and hop off. Hop off now, right. or if you. Uh, just that I'll have a last few words. Uh, make sure you all follow Garby, and yeah. she will actually be later showing off another another game later in this marathon, TCAP Attack, towards the very end. So stay tuned for that. And up next, we have a bit of a schedule change. So we will have Aquas up next with Ghouls and Ghosts. So I will see you all.